So what's your take on so many people having so many ideas? You see, they are ambitious, they want to achieve things, but they have so many ideas running through their heads. They have no, they have no specific one they want to. I mean, they want to do all of them at the exact same time, but they have no idea how to start, where to go. Everything seems inviting. Yeah. How would someone like that handle an issue like that? First, I have been there. There's a time in my life when I had around seven, uh, I think seven companies running, and every idea that came through my mind, I felt I had to implement it. But I've come to learn that uh, it's not about implementing every idea that comes to us. Some ideas, we have them to share them with other people. When you become creative, you attract creative. There's a law in nature, there's a law of life that you attract that which we are. When you are dirty, you attract that. When you are smart, you attract smartness. When you are imaginative, you attract imagination. Uh, when you are poor, you attract poor people around you. When you are rich, you attract rich people around you. It just follows that when you are creative, you attract a lot of creative ideas. Uh, every other moment you are thinking of something creative. That's why the rich become richer and the poor become poor. Uh, however, the fact that the idea comes to my mind doesn't mean I'm the one to implement it. Some ideas are meant to be shared by other people, shared with other people, shared for the benefit of other people. Whereas some, we have to implement ourselves. Now the question is, and this is a question that Mark Zuckerberg asked himself when he was asked to sell Facebook. He asked himself, could this be the one idea that I will never have again in my life? That this is the end of my thinking? And I think that was true. Of the seven ideas I have, there must be one, two, three, few of them, just one of them, which is the idea. The others are developed only to flip and sell, but one I want to stay with it. So the question then is, when I don't have money at all, then I have no business supporting seven ideas. If I have money, that's another issue. But if I am broke and I'm stretching myself thin, I'm going to break. And my quick answer then would be that if I am broke, I'm living hand to mouth, I should pick one idea. I should eat, live and sleep one idea. I should wake up early, work harder and sleep late, chasing only one idea.